Hello and welcome to this week's installment of Tools of the Trade. I'm Tom Williams, Managing Director of Edge Consulting. Today you'll be hearing from Andrew Phelps, the founder and CEO of Incentive Pilot, a partner activation platform that drives engagement and incentivizes new behavior from within your partner relationship management solution. So by way of introduction, I wanted to provide a little bit of background. First and foremost, if you're a partner professional, you're no doubt familiar with partner relationship management or PRM solutions. There's literally hundreds of companies providing PRM solutions today, and each with their own unique set of functionality. Content, community, knowledge base, enablement, support, programs, preferences, all of those are examples of common functionality, but your definition is likely different. One thing that I've found talking to clients and colleagues is that people often mistake PRM for the partner program. PRM is the tool that helps deliver programmatic and repeatable activity with partners, but it is not the program. The PRM is the tool that we use to support the workloads that we do. And so I think that's important when we think about things like Incentive Pilot, because what it really, one of the biggest challenges that we find with PRM solutions in general is effectively adoption. As you spend all this time and money selecting a PRM solution, ensuring that it's the right solution for your organization, your partner program, and then spend all the money, sign all the contracts, get the implementation done, and then no one uses it. Adoption is really one of the critical components. So how do you drive adoption, at logins, page views, participations, downloads, community chats, all of those things that would be representative of partner engagement. And Incentive Pilot is really one of the ways to be able to do that. So that leads me to incentives. We've all seen various incentive tactics before. So the points, the badges, the leaderboards, the, car the gift cards, the squeezy toys. And the problem with these tactics is they don't work for everyone within your partner ecosystem. Think about the founder and CEO or the practice leader of a GSI or the leader of a development team within a strategic technology provider. They don't want another Starbucks card or another squeezy toy. That's not what motivates them. This is where Incentive Pilot comes in. So they've figured out that increasingly by adding subtle gamification techniques to common workflows, they can incentivize partner engagement. Think about when you look at your phone and you see the little red dot on an application. You may not have activated that application in several months, but you're just compelled to click on that to see what the alert or notification is. I think that what Incentive Pilot done is it has been fantastic at creating creativity and incentives around common partner journeys and workflows. And they've made those easier to understand. And because they're easier to understand, they're more likely to be completed. What would you rather do? Watch three hours of PowerPoint presentations or play Space Invaders for a partner enablement? And I think it's a pretty easy question. I know for me anyway. So with that, well, let's get to it. I'll hand you over to Andrew. If you have any other ideas in terms of other topics we should be covering, other companies we should be focusing on for Tools of the Trade, please hit me up. Otherwise, let's get started. Hi, I'm Andrew Phelps, co-founder and CEO of Incentive Pilot. We help channel marketers activate, engage, and enable partners at scale with gamified incentive campaigns. Now we've run hundreds of campaigns that have generated over half a billion dollars in pipeline and revenue for our enterprise customers. We've collected a lot of data along the way and we found that the only thing successful campaigns share in common is not the amount of money invested, but achieving a critical number of touch points with partners. We got our start building a couple of incentive campaign apps for a Fortune 100 company and we they reported to us that they were the most successful campaigns they'd ever run. That's when we saw the opportunity to productize marketing and UX best practices to increase partner engagement at scale. That means fitting into the existing workflows and, and systems seamlessly and guiding partners through a fun, uh, easy experience. So you've probably seen gamification before, and usually that means adding points, badges, and leaderboards to activities. The problem with this is that they don't usually work. They don't usually make something compelling enough to get people to drive action. So we've designed all of our gamified campaigns with more layers of interest to maximize attention and get those critical touch points with partners. I'll, I'll show you how it works. Here we're looking at an Impartner Partner Portal. We're integrated with Allbound, Channeltivity, Impartner, Salesforce, Zift, and adding more integrations 
in the future. You can see here we're in an partner partner portal. We're a partner of Demo Technologies, and you can see our Who Done It campaign is right here on the homepage. Solve the case, earn rewards, went up to five hundred dollars. So everything in our experience is designed to be very simple and digestible in just a few seconds, because you know you only have a few seconds to catch partners' attention and get them to take action. So we have a very simple set of instructions here. Complete the certifications. Earn clues for each certification you complete. Each clue you earn makes it easier to solve the case. Solve the case to be entered to win a $500 gift card. So you can see here that you don't have to pay every partner for getting things done. You can basically run what's a complicated raffle to garner that interest, get those touch points, and really reduce your incentive budget. We've had customers reduce their incentive budget by up to 90% using our gamified campaigns while increasing engagement and getting better results. I'm gonna click play now. That's gonna take us into our gamified experience. We're instantly signed on with an authorization from Impartner, so the partner doesn't have any new accounts or registration to do, and we get this message. These clues were not used in the crime. So we have Miss Crimson, the office, and the hot dog were not used. That's gonna take me to the game board and have those clues crossed out. Now, this is just a, a whimsical, silly ripoff of the board game clue. Instead of uh, Colonel Mustard, you have Commander Condiment, and people have fun exploring the, the silly things we have going on here. We're also guided through the entire experience with these little helpful hints. So welcome to Who Done It. Right now you have no new clues to discover, complete an activity to learn more. I'm going to click that. That's going to take me to our activities tab. We see that we've already registered to play and earn those three clues. The next thing that we can do is complete the sales certification. So in this example, I'm going to hit take quiz. That's going to open up a quiz inside incentive pilot. But these activities could be anything inside your PRM. They could be trainings, they could be certifications, they could be registering for a webinar, they could be sending customer samples, scheduling time with a partner account manager, it could be registering deals. We've seen all sorts of things our customers do and depending on how you design your program, you can really get smart about how you get things done. So I'm gonna go through this quiz here. It's a short three question quiz. And that's gonna earn us the next four clues uh, in this experience. So I'm rewarded with something non-monetary that's fun. It will incentivize me to keep going through the program. I'm gonna click add to my evidence. Now, a lot of partners will keep going. They'll take the next training. They'll do the next activity, but partners are busy. Maybe they got a phone call they gotta jump on. They don't have time for this right now. They close out of it. Well, now that they're registered in the game, they're gonna get personalized reminders uh, that bring them back in. So they're reminded of the activities you want them to complete over and over again over the course of the campaign, which really increases the likelihood of them getting the activity is done. So that's our whodunit example and partner. We also have other gamified campaigns. One of the most popular is our poker game. When you complete an activity, you get a card for your poker hand. You don't know what card you're going to get. So there's this tension between performance and luck that really generates conversation at partner organizations. This particular game more than doubled PRM engagement for Kensington in the very first campaign. And to give you an idea of the touch points you get with one of our gamified campaigns, you can see all the different views that partners may have over the course of just a four week campaign. Most campaigns are run between six and 12 weeks and are refreshed with a new theme or a new game every quarter to keep engagement high, keep something fresh and novel, it has a lot of power in the channel space. We also have uh, old style arcade games like Space Invasion. This one generated $93 million in pipeline with a single campaign. Tap to Flap is like Flappy Bird, very difficult, highly addictive game that generates a lot of competitive conversation at partner organizations. Also have Whack-A-Mole, Smack-A-Mole, and a food-themed Pac-Man style game that's gotten a lot of popularity engagement as well. So. As you're managing campaigns, you can see exactly who's participated, how many activities have been completed. A lot of this data is connected right to your PRM or the other integrated systems. And we would love to help more folks drive engagement with this sort of gamification. It seems overwhelming. It seems like there's a lot to figure out, but there really isn't. And we're here to help. We've learned so much running these campaigns and we're happy to share best practices. We're here to help you out and you can learn more at incentivepilot.com. Thank you.